<laughs> Look, I'm sorry guys, the title and the thumbnail got you. And yes, it's true, Xbox is one. Now I know PlayStation fans are gonna come against me with fierce reverence, but let me just put it simply this way. Let's take the journey on why Xbox is what you want. Now, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X and X launched about a year and a couple of months ago, right? We've got a full cycle, at least a full year cycle of what these consoles can do. Now, in terms of specs and all that stuff, they're pretty much the same and match, so we don't really need to focus on that stuff, right? We know they're gonna have all those features we care about from VRL, 4K 60, 4K 120, yeah, 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 yeah. doesn't matter, right? But Sony came into the game saying, thinking we're going to sell more consoles than the Xbox, because they did with the PlayStation 4, and that's a valid point. But Microsoft came in and said, we're gonna win the generation, not the console war, which is what Sony was thinking, but we're going to win this generation. And you're thinking, but isn't that the same thing? No, it is not. Now, let's look at some of those numbers. Now, we know so far, PlayStation has sold 80 million PS5s, which is great. That is a great number out there. And Microsoft has sold 13 million Xbox Series Xs and Ss. So that's also a good amount, which means we've got a 5 million lead uh, from PlayStation and it could, it could grow. Now we know there's limitations with, uh, of course, chip shortage and all that stuff going on. So people can't find the consoles to buy. Here is where Microsoft was playing chess and PlayStation was playing checkers. Yeah, that's right. Microsoft focus on Xbox Game Pass sets things completely differently. Microsoft just came out and announced that they've got 25 million subscribers on Xbox Game Pass, which is roughly 7 million more uh, subscribers over what you have in terms of owners of PlayStation 5s. So as far as Microsoft is concerned, the more you have your service, the better. And to me, that is truly impressive. It kind of sets the president to say, look, we don't care if you own our console, we just care that you play our games. Now, speaking of games, that is the part where PlayStation fans will run up and say, hey, Thunder E, you're wrong, we have the games, we are the best, yada, 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 right? Yes, PlayStation has some great games, and there are some games I absolutely love, like God of War, which I haven't finished, or Spider-Man Miles Morales, which I also haven't finished, and trust me, Daniel's shaking his head over there, it's like, Either way, there are tons of games on the PlayStation platform, Uncharted, you can name that, Ghost of Tsushima, that are awesome and great single player games. But Microsoft has actually gone ahead and built a really robust game library because this is something you PlayStation fans have yelled for years. Microsoft has no games. There's nothing to play on the Xbox. Well, they went out, they bought Bethesda and they said, everyone was like, okay, cool. That is really nice. There are a ton of games from Bethesda, but a lot of people still say, look, most of those games are kind of PC centric other than games like Doom, uh, you know, Duke Nukem and things like that. Um, you know, that, that, that's fine, right? That, that's fine. But they just announced the big elephant in the room, the acquisition of um, Activision and Blizzard, basically Activision and Blizzard, which is one company. And that has shook the PlayStation fans in their roots. They're all shaking, they're shivering, they're going, ah, oh my God, what's gonna happen? Well, that's what you wanted. You wanted Microsoft to give you games, and Microsoft is doing that. Now, think of it this way. Microsoft has acquired a lot of game studios. For, let's put the IPs aside for a second. They have a ton of game studios, a ton from Bethesda, which you just got. They have a ton in-house, and now they have a ton from um, Activision Blizzard which is gonna give them a lot of games to come on that library. And all those games will show up on Xbox Game Pass. That is the key value point here. It means that Microsoft is gonna give you the ability to jump in and play anywhere. Now, what I mean by that is simply this. Look, I can kick back, relax on my couch here and play uh, Xbox Game Pass games right here on my LG OLED in 4K glory, or I can spin around and sit down from my PC and play it in 4K uh, at a high resolution because I've got a graphics card that can perform pretty well, or I can play on my mobile device. So for instance, if I'm just an iOS and Apple user, now I can play the games I want to play on my iPhone with Xbox Game Pass, or you can do it also on your, um, on your MacBook. So you've got the platforms to play on, and you don't care about buying a piece 
of plastic box, which is what PlayStation fans are clinging to right now. Now, the other aspect to that is that you know, some of you are going, okay, look, will Microsoft hold back Call of Duty? Uh, what's gonna happen with that? Look, fear not, PlayStation fans. You're still gonna have Call of Duty on there. But think about it this way. Microsoft is gonna have Call of Duty free on Game Pass with your monthly subscription, or you will pay $70 on the PlayStation. Now, I can almost bet and guarantee you that Microsoft is gonna have the expansion packs and DLCs free, at least for the first one, and you have to pay for it on the PlayStation. So eventually you're gonna go, look, you know what? Maybe I'll just get it on PC because it's free on Game Pass, right? See the thinking there? You don't have to cling to that box. Now, this is gonna change the whole way gaming is, uh, is gonna just grow and spread in the future. We don't have to be tied down, Microsoft is saying that. Now, we do know, for instance, that uh, services like Stadia and GeForce Now have apps that are available on your TV, and that's gonna be coming on Game Pass, and that's also gonna expand the reach, because again, your TVs has, have pretty powerful processors as well that can stream those games for you quite effectively. So I think when you look at it, like there's no, there's no way you can go away from this, uh, uh, this method. Now, some PlayStation fans will say, look, Sony has PS Now, PS Plus, that's also kind of like Game Pass. It is not. Don't lie to yourself, okay? Look, I can show you the service right now. I have both of them, and it's great for certain things, for classic PlayStation titles. I, I get to play some of them. I don't have access to new ones. I get cheaper prices to buy some of these games. Again, that's not Game Pass. Game Pass, I can play Halo Infinite right now. I can play Rainbow Six Extraction, which just came out, which is a Ubisoft game. Now, to put it in the best perspective, the, the top selling games of 2021 list just came out, right, from MPD. And the top selling games were Call of Duty, um, both Call of Duties actually, the, from this year and last year. We also had uh, Bad for Blood in there. Uh, we had uh, Ubisoft games. All those games are available on Game Pass. I didn't have to spend a dime. So all you PlayStation uh, console owners are paying for something you don't need to. So I'm just gonna help you guys here with this link down below. You can go ahead and get three years of Xbox Live for just $50 each for each year, bring it up to 150, and then upgrade yourself to Xbox Game Pass for just a dollar. Microsoft still has that offer out there, making it cheaper to have Xbox Game Pass than the current $15 a month, which is still bloody cheap, honestly, you know? I mean, that's just a great experience. And then to top it all off, the one that bugs me the most, and I think most PlayStation users don't understand. Hey, look, I was lucky to get two PlayStations. I have one at home, I have one in the office. I just set up my second one in the office and I'm re-downloading my games. And Daniel says, hey, do you have access to the game, your game saves? I was like, yeah, I should, no problem. I go ahead and check it out. No, I have to upload it from my other console, which it doesn't do automatically, I don't know why, and then re-download it on here. Why? This is why Sony has lost. Now, of course, if you guys disagree with me, you can go ahead and leave your comments down below. I know this is a little bit sat satirical, but honestly, I believe the generation is lost for PlayStation. Sony will sell a lot of console units. Microsoft will have more subscription. And in the end, numbers pan out. So thank you very much, guys, and always enjoy your entertainment.